Hey everybody, welcome to episode 37 of Realm with Twist. It's April 28th, 2010, and I'm still in recovery mode from the fling. Uh, I believe it was Plaza Jen, who organized our newbie dinner then, uh, coined the phrase fling over. <laughs> and it's like a hangover, only post-spring fling, and I'm definitely feeling that. I've been trying to catch up on my sleep the last few days. And yeah, it's motivated me to do a little bit of frogging. This would be the toe-up sock that I started for the sock class I took from Deb Barnhill. Hi, Deb. Hi, girls. Um, out at Sock Summit. Toe-up socks for the stubborn, and Deb, let me tell you, I am way too stubborn. <laughs> this sock has not been going anywhere. I haven't been knitting on it at all. I just look at it, and I love the yarn. I love the pattern I'm using, but I hate the fact that it's toe-up. I hate it. I am not a toe-up knitter. I don't think anyone will be able to convert me. If Deb can't convert me, no one can convert me. So we are frogging. We are frogging lots and lots because um, I want to use this yarn. It, this is the flat feet from Conjoined Creations, the ones that are in the flats and you knit directly from them. And yeah, needs to go. So I pulled it down off of the works in progress area of my wrap page and Oh, and of course I forgot to start the timer this time, so there we go. Um, I'm ripping. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's the beginnings of some fun there. I, I can tell this is going to get interesting, and I'll probably end up very, very tangled at some point in the near future and be just the bane of my existence. But... So I get this wound up here so it's not too terribly awful for me to deal with later. I'm going to set that to the side now because I really don't have a whole lot of knitting to talk about just because it's been, what, three days since the last time I recorded. I recorded Sunday night. It's late Wednesday right now and, yeah, really don't have a whole lot of actual knitting content that's been completed. Excuse me. I have to caffeinate. I haven't drunk any coffee. It's 1130 at night. Why I haven't drunk any coffee? I don't know. Blueberry cobbler. Very yummy. Oh, oh, and I'm using the mug that the elves gave us for Spring Fling from Loopy U. It fits my big bucket worth of coffee that I love to drink. Um, the Glynis socks. I didn't even bother to bring in here because they haven't moved. I didn't knit on them at all on Fling. I've been working the last two nights and I haven't had a chance to do any knitting tonight at knit night. I spun instead. And so, yeah, no progress on the Glynis. It's still the second sock into the ribbing, and I think the setup rows I haven't even started down the leg yet. But I'll probably pull that out and knit on that tonight while I watch a couple movies while I'm trying to stay awake. Um, next up is the Modern Baby Blanket, which I have knit on a little bit. I debated taking this to fling, but then decided eh, it's getting a little too big for purse knitting, and as much as we move around probably wouldn't be a good idea. I am currently on, up here, block seven of the whole thing. I don't know how much of it you guys can see, but um, the current block is 114 stitches across. I have six garter ridges done, and I have to do 56. So there's quite a bit of knitting left on that, and then I think there's three more blocks, two of which have two colors in them, and the edging left to go. But Baby's not due till June. I got time. So we're good with that. Um, that's on U.S. size 5s, the 3.75 millimeter needles, and I'm knitting it out of um, Comfy Sport from Knit Picks. Uh, let's see if I can remember the four colors. I know the gray is the whisker, the blue is planet... no, sorry. The dark blue over here. That's planetarium, marlin, and I think the light color, the one I'm currently knitting, I think that's sea foam, but don't quote me on it. It's up on my wrap page under my projects. Um, my fling socks is the next thing. Uh, these are the socks that I started at fling. They're not affiliated with spring fling other than that. Uh, it is the Hermione's Everyday Sock Pattern that I've knit once before. This is out of socks that rock lightweight in the colorway ST1, which was actually a color that Tina and Tina Newton from Blue Moon designed for to represent her and uh, Stephanie out at uh, 
for socks on it. I believe it's still up on the website. If it is, I will link to it in the show notes. I'm all the way down. I did a slip stitch heel instead of the modified eye of partridge. Again, uh, working my way out the gusset. I got a few rounds done. Yeah, not much progress on that either. Uh, but yeah, it'll get done. Don't worry. It always does. Oh, let's see. What's the other thing that I have? Oh, yeah. The dishcloths that I am doing for my neighbors. Obviously, this is still the first one. Still haven't woven in the ends. I'll wait. I'll get them all done, and then I'll have a little weaving in end party. Uh, but I have just barely started the second one. Uh, and I was thinking this would, that the dish class would be a really good way to practice my backwards knitting that I learned in uh, the class I took from Griffin. So yeah, the very last row that I did, I tried knitting backwards. And I was like, oh yeah, cool, I remember. And then I realized I didn't purl my way back across. I knit my way back across and I had done garter stitch. I needed to do garter stitch and I had done stockinette. So I had to take the row out and decided, uh, maybe this isn't such a good idea, and I'll try it later when I'm a little bit more caffeinated. But I'll probably be using that as practice, because dishcloths, I'll throw them in the washer and dryer before I give them to, to my neighbors, and everything will even out. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Um, let's see, spinning. I don't have any bobbins up here to show you, but um, I'm working on the last third of the Crown Mountain Farm Superwash Merino in Atlantis. Uh, I got a couple good four foot chunks of roving spun tonight at knit night. And the ball that remains is about softball size, maybe slightly smaller. Uh, I should be able to finish spinning that this weekend. Hopefully, hopefully by next week, I'll have something plied to show you. No promises, but that's the plan. Uh, and my FO of the week. That's what I'm wearing here. Is a, I've had it tied back behind me, so it was kind of in shrug form. This is the Clap of Tea by Kate Gilbert. This is actually the first Clap of Tea that I knit back in July and August of 2005. I have no clue what colorway this is, but I do know the yarn is Noro Silk Garden. Um, stripes beautifully, but this was where I learned the awful things about Noro that there are knots. <laughs> Uh, not mine didn't have the the random random color changes in the middle, but there there were knots in several of the skeins. I think I used six skeins for mine. Knit the whole thing on US eight, the five millimeter needles. Um, but yeah, the other thing, oh the knots, the brambles, the sticks. That's when I I guess 2005 was when I first started tensioning my yarn around the pinky of my right hand, so that I could feel those feel all that stuff coming up the yarn toward me, and I could stop, set everything down, pick out the bad bits, and then go back to knitting. So that's when I started, began tensioning that way. Wow, that's like five years ago. I didn't realize it had been that long or that this was that old. Whew, good to know. Um, I do love, 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 love how it, you knit it on the bias, so you're knitting on the diagonal, and then because the Nora has the long pattern repeats, it's striping across. But every single one of these drop stitches, every little one going the whole way down, I had to pick out with my finger. Most Sometimes if you get a slipperier yarn, when you go to do the drop stitches, you can just let it off and give the fabric a tug, and it'll just go boop, 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 and just ladder its way down. Every single one of these picked out by hand. Hard fought hard battle. What did I do then? I made a second clap of tea, which you've already seen. I believe it was back in November. I showed you guys my second one. Um, and then I knit a third out of the actual called for yarn, the um, Lorna's Laces Lion and Lamb. They're 50-50 wool silk blend uh, in, uh, it's a single yarn. I believe it was in the Tuscany colorway, and I knit that for my mom for Christmas. And she loved it, but again, I, it might be the fact that all of these yarns, the Noro Silk Garden and the Lion and Lamb are all singles, but every single one of them I had to pick all the little drop stitches out. Um, I actually did block, block this shawl. I wet blocked it and pinned it out so it would lay flat so I could use it more as a shawl rather than um, having it be curled up on itself and wrapping it around as a scarf. 
like they show in the pattern, but you can do that. It's still, oh, I can still do it. It's still a wonderfully warm scarf. There's plenty still to tuck down into my coat in the winter. And it makes a great shawl in the summer to take into church where the air conditioning is just blasting a million degrees below zero. Um, but yeah, that's really everything I have to show you guys. And hopefully I'll have more, more content next week, more stuff done. I feel like I shouldn't have even recorded tonight because I didn't have anything done. I hadn't really done anything. But I'll have something more for you guys next week. In the meantime, keep knitting. And I will hope you guys have a happy week. See you next Wednesday. Bye.